said, this is the correct version of what she's telling. She said, I'll be walking across campus and someone will walk up to me and they'll start a conversation with me. And I'll just kind of blow them off, okay, no, I'm deaf, I don't want to talk to you. And they'll assume that I'm an immigrant, and because I'm an immigrant, that I don't speak English well enough to have a conversation with them. And so they'll be like, oh, oh, okay. Instead of, you know, I have a disability. And it's interesting that their first reaction is, oh, because of the color of your skin, you don't speak English. But they don't think about, well, maybe she's disabled. One of the things about my personality traits that I think gets in the way is I am really good with people. And like a lot of us, you know, there's people just assume that you're you're fine and you're not dealing with stuff. Um, I'm hard of hearing, but, you know, people mistake me just for being hearing. Um, so it really kind of depends on what groups I'm in and, you know, what I'm trying to do as to, you know, what I, I sort of put out there and um, also just sort of, you know, in some spaces I feel more comfortable to, to advocate for myself and in other places not so much. And, um, you know, I tend to not, I don't really hang out with the t Pakistani community. Um, I hang out with the deaf community because the deaf people understand me. The Pakistanis, their culture, I mean, I have so many conflicts with their stuff. You know, by trying to explain my disability and their being willingness, willing to accept and learn about my disability, it's not there, so I can name deaf people. The two main issues for us is um, address yourself. You know, if you're ashamed of your disability, you may need to start thinking in terms of <clears throat> difference. I'm different, and, and there's no shame in that. And I gotta find a way around it. And I have to accept first that I'm different, and I learn different. And, and maybe then we can see that disability label go away because um, nothing is gonna change if, you know, just even the teaching styles have changed since back then. All my teachers are required now to make sure that you work in groups, that you touch things. I'm being taught in math that my children are gonna to have to touch things when I'm explaining something on the blackboard. And that didn't exist before. And it has come from people that had the disabilities but also had, you know, an upbeat personality, you know, and a uh, self-image. And, and we're making, you know, ingrowns, and I think we've seen a lot of progress since then. And, you know, there's, there's teachers that are very insensitive. I, I mean, I still hear it, <laughs> you know, with my own kids. But uh, if, if we don't start thinking in terms of differences in disabilities, um, and if we don't start accepting that ourselves first, how do we make other people understand, I'm just as good as you are, I'm just a little different. But I feel, I have goals, I have dreams, and I want to get there.